How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this modern shop that you see in front of you now. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And one thing to know about this build, while I designed it to be a shop, you could also use this for a modern home or anything else in the modern style. And on the screen right now, you will see a full list of building materials you will need for this build, as well as the map cords where I built this on Ragnarok. And you can also find this information in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. But anyways, with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and place the foundation for our build. So you can see I've already placed one Adobe foundation. We're going to come to the right of that and add nine more Adobe foundations to give us ten total. Now that we have that, we'll go in behind this and add five more rows of ten Adobe foundations. Now with all of those placed, we're going to come back to the front of our build. And first, starting here on this left corner, we're going to place one more Adobe foundation in front of these first three, just like that. We'll then go here to the right corner. We're going to skip over this first one and place one right here, as well as one right here. And now we'll go to the back side of our build, and this time we will start on the back right corner by placing one Adobe foundation in front of these first three again. Then right here, we're gonna go ahead and skip over these next two spots and place one more right here. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and switch all of these to block. Next, we're gonna add some pillars here on the front side of our build. So starting off on the front left corner, we're gonna come in here to this corner foundation and place a wooden fence foundation on the front of it. Then on the corner, go ahead and add three high metal pillars. We'll come to this foundation right here and add another wooden fence foundation on the front and place three more metal pillars on the corner. We'll come over to the right side now and place a wooden fence foundation on both of these Adobe foundations right here on the front. And then on each corner, go ahead and again add three high metal pillars. All right, now we'll come back into our front left side and we're gonna skip over this first row of foundations and come to our second row. And here on this first foundation, we'll place two high adobe walls. And the next one, we'll place a greenhouse double door frame and fill that in with a greenhouse double door and we'll leave the spot above it open. In this next spot, we'll place two more adobe walls. On the next four spots here, we're gonna place two high greenhouse walls. We'll go ahead and skip over these two spots and come to this last one and place two high adobe walls. Now we're going to come back in here where we left that opening above our double door. And first we're going to get out a metal catwalk and place it just like this. And then add one more to the right of it. You can then go ahead and fill in above that double door with a greenhouse wall. Then we're gonna come down here to the ground level and get out a metal double door frame. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this green snap point, go ahead and place that down. And then add one more on top again, rotating the snap point. Now here we have these greenhouse walls. We're gonna go in between the first two walls and get out a wooden hatch frame. And we're gonna place it just like this so it's hugging those two walls. Go ahead and do this two more times to the right of it. Now you can go ahead and fill these in with metal trap doors. Once you have that part done, go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and replace the wooden hatch frame with thatch ceilings. And then you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings and as you do, you'll see those metal trap doors will remain in place. Now that we have those done, we're just gonna go ahead and add one more Adobe wall to each one of these walls. Now 
Now we're gonna come back in here to the front left portion and we're gonna first come to the side of this foundation and place a wooden fence foundation on it. We'll go ahead here to the front. We already have a wooden fence foundation right there. We just need to add one right here in the middle. So go ahead and place one more right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a metal railing. And you can see there you have the feet sticking off of the foundation. This is placing on the foundation itself. So what we wanna do is rotate the snap point using whichever keyer button is appropriate for your system until you get it on that fence foundation. So go ahead and place one down right here and add one more on top and do that on these other three spots as well. Now we're gonna go ahead here to the spot that we left open and just add an Adobe stair right here. Now we're gonna to come to the spot that sticks out on our front right. And first we're gonna to come to the side of it and place two high metal double door frames, followed by a metal wall. Go ahead and do this on the other side of it as well. Now we will come to the front of it and we're gonna do the same thing just here on the front. You'll see we have a fence foundation. So just be careful. You can see here, this snap point is a little bit further back on that fence foundation. Make sure you're getting this one that comes a little bit more forward on the actual foundation. So go ahead and place one on each of these, add one more on top of each and then a metal wall on top of each of those. Now back in this spot on the right side, we're gonna come back to the side of it, and we're now going to place a wooden fence foundation on the Adobe foundation. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a metal railing, and like we did before, we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get it placing on that fence foundation. Go ahead and add four more on top of this, being very careful that you're getting it on top of the railing and not replacing a wall. So that'll give us five high total. We're gonna go ahead to the other side of this and do the same thing over here. Place that fence foundation and then add your five metal railings on top of the fence foundation. Coming to the front, we already have fence foundations on both of these spots. So just go ahead and add your five high railings on those fence foundations. Moving on to the left side of our build, we're gonna start off by placing three high adobe walls in these first two spots. In the next three spots, we're going to place three high greenhouse walls. And then in the last two spots, we're again going to place two high adobe walls. All right, now still on our left side, we're gonna come in here below where we have the greenhouse walls and place a thatch ceiling out from each of these foundations, just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out an Adobe door frame and we are first going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you have this light blue snap point that is on the thatch ceiling. Now, before we place it, we are also gonna go ahead and flip this door frame around, again, using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it looks like this. Now, it's important to note, we are doing two things here. We are rotating the snap point and then we are flipping the door frame. Go ahead and place that. We're then gonna go ahead and add two more on top of it, being very careful that we're getting the one that is placing on top of the door frame below it and not replacing our greenhouse wall. And now we'll just go ahead and do this in these other two spots as well. Then once you have all of those placed, go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Now on the back side, we're gonna start from the right corner and work our way to the left. So here on this first spot, we're going to place three high adobe walls. In the next spot, we'll place an adobe wall followed by two greenhouse walls. We'll place three more adobe walls right here, as well as on the other side of this foundation. And now we're just gonna place three high adobe walls all the way across this back portion, excluding this part that sticks out right here. All right, now remaining on the back side, we're gonna come in here where we have these greenhouse walls and place a thatch ceiling just below them above the adobe wall. 
We'll then get out an Adobe door frame and again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get that light blue side on the thatch ceiling. Then again, go ahead and flip that door frame using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Go ahead and add one more on top of it and then go ahead and pick up or destroy that thatch ceiling. Now we're gonna come over here to this little outcrop and we're going to add three high Adobe walls on the two sides of it. Then here on the back, we're gonna go ahead and first place an Adobe door frame, followed by two high Adobe walls, and then finally an Adobe stair out in front of it. All right, now we're gonna to come to what is the right side of our build and starting off on the foundation that is closest to the front, we're gonna go ahead and place three high thatch door frames right here. We'll go ahead and do this in the next four spots as well. Then you can go ahead and fill all of those in with metal doors. Now that we have those filled in, we're going to go to the inside of the build and open up all of these doors so they face outward. And now that we have these all opened up, we're just gonna go ahead and replace all of these thatched door frames with Adobe walls. And then finally go ahead and add three more Adobe walls here on our last spot. Now on the inside of our build, we're going to come to this corner right here and we're going to get out an Adobe wall and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this. Go ahead and add two more on top. Now you do not have to do it this way. I just like to keep all of our walls facing in the same direction. That's why I did that. We're gonna come around to the side here and get out a greenhouse double door frame and again, rotate that snap point, this time looking for that bright green one. Go ahead and add another one on top and then an Adobe wall on top of that. And we're gonna go ahead and do that in the remaining spots until we reach that wall over there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead back in here to the inside of our build and we're gonna to go to where we have these greenhouse double door frames. We're gonna skip this row of foundations and come to this one. And right here on this spot, we're gonna get out a thatch door frame and rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Go ahead and add one more on top. And here you can see where that's actually placing if you are confused. We're then gonna go ahead and skip this row of foundations and come right here and do the same thing in this spot. And again, there you'll see where it's placing. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip this line right here and come to this one and do the same thing except for we're only gonna place it one high. So just like that, we'll go ahead and skip this row again and do the same thing right here. We'll then go ahead and skip this line right here, come to this one and do the same thing. And again, we will skip this row right here and do the same thing in this spot right here. So I'll go ahead and zoom out real quick so you can see where all those are placing. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill all of these in with metal doors. Then once you have all of these filled in, we're going to get out a thatch wall and we're going to again, rotate the snap point to make sure we're getting it facing in the same direction as the door frame. Go ahead and place this down and replace that door frame. Go ahead and do that again on this one. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy these thatch walls and you'll see your metal door will remain floating. Go ahead and do this on the remaining spots where we just place these metal doors. So now we'll have all of these metal doors floating. So the next thing we're gonna do is come to the wall that's in line with our metal doors. And first here on the first level, we're gonna go ahead and take six metal catwalks across, reaching to that two high metal door at the end, just like that. Go ahead one space up from that and do the same thing. And so there you will have our shelf. So we're gonna go ahead and do this again in the front more spot.
All right, so for this next step, we're gonna go ahead and add some storage to those shelves. Now for my example, I'm gonna use dedicated storage. However, if you want, you could just use regular storage bins. Now first, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden ladder and place this in a direction so that we're able to climb on it. Go ahead and get on the ladder and then just go ahead and jump back off. And basically this is just lining us up perfectly straight so that we can place these things perfectly straight. I'm gonna go ahead over here to our middle shelf and get out our dedicated storage. And I'm basically just going to line this thing up to the middle of this metal door and just go ahead and place it up there nice and tight to the door and then just take a line across this catwalk until we reach our adobe wall now i am not going to stack them too high i think it looks better just to have that gap between the dedicated storage and the catwalk above it and i'm also not going to place them on our second shelf there on the top i am going to however drop down to the ground now and get out another dedicated storage and again, just kind of line it up with that door and take a row across until we reach our adobe wall at the end. Now that I have all of those placed, guys, I'm gonna real quick do this off camera on our second shelf and I'll show you what it looks like with both of them done. Next, we're gonna come to this small room that we created on the back side of our build and go inside and look up and get out a metal hatch frame. Now, if you look to the right side of the metal hatch frame, you will notice a thick metal beam that runs across it kind of close to the middle. We're gonna go ahead and rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get that metal beam in this position right here so that it's on the same side as our door. Go ahead and place that down. You see the metal beam there. This will now allow us to get out a metal ladder and rotate through its snap point until we get this one right here hanging from the hatch frame. Go ahead and add two more below that to get us down here to the ground. You can then go ahead and climb up this metal ladder and when we get to the top of the hatch frame, just kind of peek over and get out a metal ceiling and place it right here. Go ahead and jump up here and to the right of that metal ceiling, we will add two more in these spots right here. You may need to rotate this ceiling right here to get it facing in the same direction. Now we're gonna go ahead and look towards the front of our build from this metal ceiling and add five more out from it to connect us to the front of our build. Now that we have all of those placed, I'll go ahead and zoom out here and you'll see what we have so far. So now to the left of that line of metal ceilings, all of this space over here, we're gonna fill all of this in with metal ceilings again, making sure you're placing them all in the same direction. And to the right of those metal ceilings over here, this area over here, we're gonna leave this open for now. So go ahead and fill in everything over here to the left of those metal ceilings. Now, once you have all of those fill in, go ahead back here to where we have that hatch frame and just go ahead and fill this in with a metal trap door. All right, now we're gonna come in here to the back right corner of our roof and on this ceiling right here, we're gonna go ahead and get out an adobe wall and place it like this on the ceiling. Go ahead and add another one right here on the side of that ceiling and one more on this side. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out our generator and we're just going to place this in between these three walls up nice and tight to that back wall so we have room out in front of it to place a door. So right here should be good. Go ahead and place your adobe door frame in front of it and fill that in with a reinforced door. And now we're just gonna go ahead and add metal railings on top of each of these walls, as well as the door frame. Next, we're gonna come back to our electrical generator and place a straight electrical cable out from it. We'll then place the intersecting electrical cable out from that. We'll then go down inside of our build and get out a diagonal electrical cable and hang that down from that one. And then just place our outlet connected to that. Now we're gonna come in here to the inside of our build between where we placed those greenhouse double door frames and we're gonna get out cryo fridges. We're gonna go ahead and place this as close as possible to the door frame and just right here in the center of one of these squares. Let's go ahead and place it in the center of that square and then add another one in the center of the other square. Now, if you're playing on unofficial settings with no clip enabled, you can probably fit three in each one of these bays. 
but because I'm on official settings, I can only fit two. We're gonna go ahead and do this in each one of these little bays. Now that you have each one of these placed, go ahead and add a metal ceiling on top of each of these spots. And you'll see they can be placed on top of the cryo fridge. And now just go ahead and add one more cryo fridge. I'm just gonna line it up with the one below it and just place one on top of each of the ones below it. Now we're gonna come back in here to the front where we have those metal pillars and we're going to place a metal ceiling on top of one of them and then go ahead and place them across connecting to the other metal pillar. Now we're gonna go ahead on this one right here, we're going to get another metal ceiling out right here and you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Just make sure you're getting it so it's connecting to that metal ceiling that we already placed just like that. Go ahead and continue taking a line of these across until we reach the back. Again, making sure at every point that they are connecting to the metal ceilings that we're placing. And go ahead and hang it over the back right here. Again, making sure you're connecting it to that last metal ceiling. And then we're gonna add one more out from that. So it should look like that. We're gonna go back to the front and do the same thing in the next spot. We'll go back to the front again and do the same thing in the next spot. And now we're gonna go back to the front one more time and do the same thing in this spot. Now it's very important for this one as we get to these spots where we placed the door frames in front of the greenhouse walls to be very careful and make sure you're getting that snap point of the ceiling that is connecting to the last ceiling you placed. Now that we have all of those ceilings placed, here on this outside lip here on the back, we're gonna go ahead to this corner and get out a metal pillar and just drop it down from that metal ceiling. Go ahead and drop two more down to get us close to the ground. Now you should only need three. In my case, I need a fourth one because my ground here is a little bit sloped. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a fourth one going down into the ground. But you should only need three. Go ahead to this corner and do the same thing right here. Now that we have those placed, we're gonna go ahead around the outside lip of these ceilings we just placed and add metal walls going all the way around the outside lip. We will also do this here on this side as we go through the middle of the build. And then finally, we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the top part with more metal ceilings. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a paint scheme and bring in some decorations to make this thing really look like a store. So if you wanna see all of that, guys, stick around for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. All right, everyone, so like I said, I've gone ahead and applied our paint scheme and done a little bit of decorating. So I'll first start off by showing you the paint scheme and decorations here on the outside. So for our paint scheme, I painted all of the metal and greenhouse structures with the black color. And then I painted all of our adobe structures with the tan color. Here on the front, all I've really done is place some crops here around this corner just to kind of give a little bit more color to the front. We'll go ahead around to the back and look at what I've done back there. On the back, you can see here I've added here some ammo boxes to kind of act like, you know, some like supply crates or something that you might be getting in for the store. And then I've used some feeding troughs combined with decomp bins back here to make sort of like dumpsters here in this back corner. Now, one note here for the build, for all of my decorations, I do have no clip enabled. I do not use no clip. I play on official settings when I'm doing the build, but when I go ahead and do the decorations, I turn no clip on to get a little bit better decorations going. We'll go ahead here and head inside. As you can see, when we come inside, we have kind of like a display table here right in the front when you walk in the store with some artifacts on it. These are just kind of you know high value items that you might be selling. We have a cash register over here. We have two of them actually, one right here. We've got the artifact stand acting like a cash register. 
some wall signs there to act like the scanning area and then the dino leash there to also act like the scanner and of course we've got some guys here you know checking people out and then we've got another little table back there with just some you know storage on it to act sort of like the you know storage you might see behind a counter obviously we have our cryo fridges over here we already saw those go in as well as all of our dedicated storage here on our shelves and then the only other thing i've done here on the inside is create kind of like a little seating area over here with just a small table there artifact stand with some wall signs on top of it to make a small table and then an artifact stand chair and gravestone here to make these simple chairs all right everyone that is going to do it for this video and build i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this built on your arc guys if you did don't forget to hit that like button leave me some feedback in the comments below and if you're new to the channel go check out some other builds and if you like what you see subscribe for future arc let's build videos also guys make sure you check out the description below for a link to my twitter as well as my discord where you can stay up to date with me and hang out with me and all of my friends but anyways guys with all of that said i just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today checking out this video and have a great day